Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Reporter wanted Santa Fe survivor to bash guns. Instead, he blows the left's narrative wide open. As the mainstream media once again wants to blame the GN, a student who survived yesterday's Santa Fe, Texas school shooting had another reason in mind. As you can clearly see in the video posted below, the student didn't blame the GN, the NRA or Republican politicians, all he blamed was the shooter and gave a reason as to why he might have acted the way he did. Although being bullied isn't an excuse at least he didn't go the route of the rest of the media and start blaming NRA members and the guns. Here is more on this via the Daily Wire. On Friday, a student told a local Texas news station that the alleged Santa Fe high school shooter wore a trench coat every day in the hot Texas weather and was picked on by coaches. A reporter for Click2 Houston interviewed an unidentified student from the school and asked him what he knew about the alleged shooter. He's been picked on by coaches before for smelling bad and stuff like that and he doesn't really talk to very many people, the student said. He wears a trench coat every day and it's like 90 degrees out here. I heard that he wore a shirt today and it said born to kill, the shirt he was wearing, I don't even know how the school can allow that, the student continued. The reporter then asked the student about his reaction to the school's handling of the shooting, asking him if they handled it appropriately. No, they pulled the fire alarm and got everyone in one position, that's not smart, the student replied. They should have done the right thing and left the people in the classrooms. The reporter then appeared to try to bait the student into making a statement on GN control, asking him what he thought about the state of America today. The student once again pointed out the alleged GN was supposedly bullied by coaches, saying, I think it's stupid, the coaches can't talk to students like that and make fun of them. That's their fault, and strictly their fault. Not the kid's fault, but their fault, no one has talked to him or tried to be nice to him. But what is perhaps the strangest part of this whole shooting is seeing how it's very hard to find what firearms the shooter actually used and where he got them from. But after a little digging, I was able to find the answer to both those questions. The firearms this murderer allegedly used were a 38 Special and a shotgun as pictured below. Yes, one of them is a revolver which only holds six bullets in the chamber with the same technology we had back in the days of the Wild West, and the other is a simple 12-gauge shotgun which usually holds between two to eight slugs in the chamber. Now there you go, buy a shotgun just like Vice President Joe Biden said. Chances are we won't be hearing much about this shooting by next week. It doesn't fit the liberal gun grabber's narrative against the evil AR-15 which has a stopping power a lot lower than either of these two firearms which were used in Santa Fe. You can survive being shot by an AR-15 S.223 which is a relatively small bullet, but a 38 special round or a 12-gauge buckshot or slug round is a totally different story. Here is more on this story via Click2 Houston. Nine students and a teacher were killed. Chris Stone, 17, and Sabi Kashik a foreign exchange student from Pakistan, were among those killed. Ten other people were injured, including Santa Fe Independent School District Police Officer John Barnes. A spokesman for UTMB Hospital in Galveston said doctors treated Barnes, a 16-year-old boy and a middle-aged woman. A spokesman for Clear Lake Regional Medical Center said doctors there were also treating some of the injured. Guns and Born to Kill Shirt Texas Governor Greg Abbott said both weapons were owned legally by the suspect's father. It was not clear whether the father knew his son had taken them. Abbott said that Pegortz's journal revealed that he wanted to KL himself after the SG, but he admitted to authorities after he was arrested that he did not have the courage to do it. The red flag warnings were either non-existent or very imperceptible, Abbott said, though he acknowledged Pegortz's had recently posted a picture of a t-shirt reading Born to KL on his Facebook page. Investigators with the Galveston County Sheriff's Office said Pegortz's was not on their radar prior to the SG. That same Facebook profile described Pegortzis as planning to enter the U.S. Marine Corps next year, but the Marine Corps told the Associated Press it has reviewed its records and found no one by that name as either a recruit or a person in their delayed entry pool. Abbott said at a news conference that unlike Parkland, unlike Sutherland Springs, there were not those types of warning signs. He was referring to the February 14 school SG in Florida and one in November inside a church in a town near San Antonio. Abbott said the early investigation showed no prior criminal history for Pegortzis, no arrests and no confrontations with law enforcement. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.